God. When I'm in a sound wonder, consider all the walls thy hands has made. I see the stars and I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe display. Then sing my soul, my soul, your God, to the Hallelujah. My name is Brother Ifai Okonpo. My wife's name is Sister Toshibu Okonpo. And our baby's name is Brother Shi Doto Light Okonpo. Sear and praise the Lord. Online, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are here this morning to appreciate this God of the chosen for his wonders upon our lives. Thank you, Lord. On the third day of March 2022, we did our traditional marriage and we proceeded with the white wedding on the 2nd of April 2022. That is a year plus ago. But immediately after the white wedding, barely one week after the white wedding, I discovered that I had body pains all over my body. And my hands, my leg, in fact, every part of my body got swollen, including my stomach. And uh, I took different medications, but all to know. Avail. So we decided to go to test to find out what was the problem. So we, but before the white wedding, we followed everything the marriage committee asked us to do. We followed the two process. In fact, we did extra tests. The ones they didn't request from us, we do, did the test. So, but. When we went for test, general body test, so they told me that I have a kidney problem, infections, and the, the same thing with my wife that she had fibroid. But when we collected the test from them, we just laughed. Hmm. They asked us, why are you laughing? I went there before my wife, I was waiting for uh -huh. that fateful Friday evening. So I told the lady that this test is not for me and my wife. That this thing is wrong. It's not for us. So by the grace of God, two days later we were privileged to see our daddy. And when with the test result, he cursed everything and said, what any evil report in your body I cancel it and I change everything that is not of God in your body. Hey! Hey! hey. Power! As we step out that very day after the service, we went home rejoicing. Few months later, 
my wife became pregnant. Power! And the whole swollen body, every part of my body, everything they report, everything deflected. My body became normal. Power! Hey, hey, hey. Thank After you. three months, we went for scan. The doctor said that uh, he said I can see that my wife is carrying a baby, bounce the baby boy, but he can see a fibro. I said, "Sir, na lie. Hmm. You are not seeing any fibro. What you are seeing there is fine boy." <laughs> Be a chosen. Operate in this state or the pastor of choosing. I was right there with my wife. I told him that this report is wrong. That our pastor has prayed for us. That what you are seeing there is wrong. What we have is a fine boy, not fine blood. He asked us, we should you attend? I, we said, the Lord chosen. He said, these people. Hmm. So, but in the day of delivery, the day of delivery, my wife put to bed two days after the program from sorrow to joy. Thank you, Father. You know, after that uh, program, we had two days workers meeting. So the second day I was in the hospital with her. But when the whole thing became tough, because right there in the hospital, we had about six persons that put to bed that same Tuesday. Tuesday. My wife was the last person. But it go to a point that the first person will go and just come out with her baby. The second person, the third person, the fourth person, up to the fifth person. Then when it go to the turn of my wife, it was as if everything is not going to work out. But we know the God we are serving. I was right there praying. And everybody in that hospital, they saw us with chosen apron because we are there with our apron. So it was as if they are going to mock us. I said no. The devil, you will not succeed. It got to a point that to show you that the matter was so tough that my wife told the medical doctor, please, I want to see my husband. So when I went to the labor room, I almost collapsed because it was indeed tough. But I remember that our daddy at that time is busy because of the meeting. So what I did was I sent a short test message to him. This thing was around 6.45 around 7 minutes past I mean around 5 minutes past 7 my wife put to bed this bouncer. power 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 clap unto God of the chosen he honors the commandment of his servant the pastor of the chosen so that is what God has done for us and we are here rejoicing Thank you, Appreciate Lord. him for all his marvelous works Thank upon you. our lives. And as we pray for our pastor, the Bible said in Philippians chapter 1, he was counseling not yesterday in the workers' meeting. He made reference to all the grace of God upon his life, which all of us are, are enjoying. And in Philippians chapter 1, verse 7, Apostle Paul told the Philippians, You all are partakers of my grace. In as much as today we are partakers of the grace of God upon our pastor. I pray that that grace will increase more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. The glory of God will never elude him. The glory of God will overshadow him. Amen. His wife, our mommy, and their children. Amen. Every day of their lives, they will continue to radiate and, and, and praise God and worship him. The blessings of the Lord will never elude them. Amen. And at the end of this journey, we will follow them to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Your wife to say praise the Lord. To praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Chosen. Chosen. Praise the Lord. Let the chosen praise.